Hey you guys, it's me Linwood and I'm here today to show you the chain link ring knot um, or the chain link knot using the make a statement rings uh, once again. If you are not familiar with the make a statement rings, you can get them from Hobby Lobby or your nearest craft store in the jewelry section. Uh, make a statement is the brand, but I'm sure they have other stuff also. Um, and if you can't find them, use napkin rings or just get creative. Anything that's cylindrical, round, whatever. I mean, like, they're rings, y'all. Hold on. Like, this is it. This is it. Hold on. So that way you can see it there. Uh, that's all the ring is. It's literally a piece of plastic wrapped in ribbon and some of them are wooden wrapped in thread. Um, this one is a piece of plastic wrapped in thread. So I mean, you know, you can take anything that's like a ring like that and kind of get creative with it. But um, this one is just to show you the chain link ring knot and I think that you guys will really like it. It is, I warn you in advance, it's a little tricky. Um, and I, I sometimes bumble up with it so hopefully I'll get it perfectly right for the video um, and be able to remember exactly how I have it tied in there but um, there are a couple different variations of it so at any rate we'll be tying with the thin end of your tie so you're going to take the thick end of your tie and position it just past your belly button there we go because this tie is not going to require a whole lot of adjusting before you start so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this right on up there like so and I'm gonna move closer so you can go ahead and see what's going on. So um, this tie here is a little bit thinner and um, I actually like it better on a thicker tie just because it gives you a nice wide knot. It is an asymmetric knot on purpose for those who are wondering, so um, just so you're able to keep up. You're going to take the large end and pinch it off for your dimple there, okay? Then you're going to take the small end, bring it right over the top. You're going to take it around the back and through the middle. Just like so. Then bring her back to the side, just start it on. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to come around the back and you're going to end up on the opposite side. Okay, so so far, pretty easy, right? Now, this is the part that uh, starts getting a little tricky. So you're going to take the tail end of your tie and you're going to take both of your rings and just slide them right onto there. I'm going to pull those up and I'm just going to go ahead and take those two rings there, position on there like so. So I know that I want the front end of it to be covered here. So I'm just going to take and make sure my seam is covered for one thing. So I've got that covered there. My other ring I'm going to take and twist it the opposite way and place it just behind that, like so. And so from there, I'm going to take the tail end of my knot again, bring it right in through the center of this top ring, just like so. And then you're just gonna take it and position it however you want it at this point. So uh, you can kind of take it easily, slide it up and down and make it as tight or as snug as you need to. Um, because once you do this next part, it is locking those rings in place. You will not be able to adjust it. So consider yourself warned. Okay, so now that I've got it positioned right about where I want it, I'm going to take the tail end of my tie and put it through that back ring. Just like so. So this is what it should look like. Okay. So now I'm back on my original side that I started on. I'm just going to take and tuck the tail end right underneath this band here around the neck. So you can kind of see it's already starting to take shape. From there, I'm going to tug just a little bit because I need a small gap just behind here. Just like that. Take your tail end and place it right in that gap you just created. That's going to secure your rings in place, so that way they're not doing a bunch of budging. Okay? So then I'm going to take it back through the center and bring it out on the bottom of the opposite side. And from here, I'm just going to bring my tail end up and around and through the center again. And that creates the wide portion of your knot over here. Let me see if I can pull that up so you can see it a little easier. So we've got the wide portion of the knot there. 
Now from there, usually you'll have a little pocket right back here that you created with that first loop. And you're just going to slide your finger right on in there, like so. Take the tail end of your knot and glide it right underneath there. And then there you go. Your knot is together and in place. You're going to adjust it by holding onto the large end, just sliding the whole knot up. And then you can bring your collar right back down. For those who have uh, shirts that sit a bit wider than this, because this one is not really made for ties, uh, it leaves it to where you have uh, the asymmetric look. So usually it sits a little off-centered like that. But since mine is a bit more narrow, it sits just like this here. And so this is the chain link ring knot. Um, hopefully this was easy for you to follow. Um, I apologize in advance because I know that you will probably have to watch this one a couple times. Um, and if need be, pause it, do a step, play it, do the next step, pause it again. <laughs> Cause I'll tell you this knot, it made me jump through rings. Literally, it made me jump through rings. Like, you know, I'm jumping through them like I'm in the circus or something. But um, I really like the look of the knot. I'm very much into asymmetric looks. And so um, I hope that you guys enjoy the knot. I hope that you found it easy to follow. And if not, let me know if on any of my videos you have a difficult time following them. Please let me know. And if I have enough people tell me that, hey, this is a little bit difficult for me to follow, I will do what I need to to revamp and uh, refilm the videos just so that way you have a better quality. Um, so until next time you guys, take care, God bless, thanks for watching, and bye.